Hi, it's Mark Elliott here, Yellow Hat Home Inspections. Uh, we're now going to go through the video and see exactly what the condition of this sewer line is under the house. These sewer lines are very expensive to replace and it's essential that you look for this type of thing when you buy a house. You don't want to buy a house with cast iron sewers if you've not had allowance made for you to replace them. So we see the camera is passing down the, the cast iron sewer line. We have water running, that's to lubricate the camera as it moves through. I've edited it to, just to show you the highlights. Uh, the, the actual video is some 13, 14 minutes long. So Here what we're doing is we're pulling the camera out and we pushed it all the way in. It's about 100 feet long, the, uh, the lead. And you can see we've got standing water here. You should never have standing water in a sewer line. Um, the problem with it is if the water's standing, then um, once the initial flush of a commode has gone through, the, um, the effluent can settle, the solids can settle out and sit on the bottom of the pipe and slowly it builds up a blockage, in which case the sewer line uh, backs up and you get that classical poo in the shower problem. So we we'll continue to pull the, the camera through. Uh, and we, as you see, we've still got water sitting there. Um, it was about 20 feet, the area which has got standing water in it, and there's standing water in another area too, we'll see that a little bit later. Now in this area here we're going to see um, a vent, it's coming down from the roof. At first I thought what we were looking at was um, were tree roots. But uh, once I got it back in uh, the computer and I could see it clearly, what it actually sh is showing is a, uh, is, is a debris. There's leaves, there's uh, all sorts of stuff wound up there. It's probably an old uh, bird's nest. Uh, the birds like to, to nest in the top of the, uh, the vent pipe. Um, and then once they've deserted it, the, the, the contents of the nest itself can fall into the sewer line and block it. And you note that we've still got a lot of corrosion on the walls. And this is a joint, you can see it's heavily corroded. Um, the water is permeating out, it's not actually running out. So a standard uh, test, um, pressure test, uh, the plumbers call this a static pressure test, may not show the, um, the sewer is leaking. It might show it's perfectly sealed when it's not. Uh, because the, the actual cast iron itself um, has lost its integrity. The uh, the soluble carbon that's in it, here we can see a tree root here, the soluble carbon that's in it um, gets eaten away by the acidic effluent and what's left behind is a latticework of crystals, ferrite crystals, and they're quite prone to collapse. Here we've got a, uh, a joint and what we've got here is mineral deposits. There's calcium sulfides coming through forms a, a mineral deposit here um, just going around where the actual two pipes join and then we continue to pull out you can see here that there's a bulge in the pipe and then we get mud it's absolutely full of mud at one part and that's it we've been right the way through the sewer line so this sewer line needs repair um, actually I recommend replacement The camera has come out of the sewer line. Uh, we're in a, uh, a two and a half inch line here. A um, bit tight, but the camera was able to go through it. And you can see we've got heavy mud deposits. This mud has come from the grade surrounding the pipe. The pipe being cast iron, it's actually, uh, it's actually deteriorating. It's probably very fragile and just could crumble at any point.